Dr. Watkins, Mr. Nakamura. Hello, sir. My name is Matthew Liu. I'm an agent with the EPA. I assume you know why you're both here? Yes, sir. We've been looking into your sales records for a while now. There's been some questionable products you have on the market. Would you like to fill me in on your thoughts about this? They aren't a hazard. Pearl, oh. We were careful to make sure all fish were sterile before putting them out in the market. We know the risks of crossbreeding with the wildlife. If you're thinking that any of our fish could reproduce with the wildlife then... Dr. Watkins, we're not interested in Aquagene's overall business operations, we're only interested in one particular specimen. I'm sorry, what? So, you were not in any legal trouble for selling our fish? At the moment, no, though that may change depending on if you can help us or not. Um, alright. What? What particular product are you talking about, exactly, then? In August of last year, it appears you were starting up a new line of modified fish that would be released during the holidays. Oh, the Sendy fish. Would you care to explain more about these? Of course, sir. See, our idea was to make a tropical themed fish set, sort of Hawaii in December, if you will. Marcus. And we wanted to introduce these fish as a sort of living air freshener. We were going to go for the classic samples. Our plan was for the selection to include apple goldfish, Marcus. strawberry tetris, orange clownfish, raspberry and blueberry betas, pineapple puffers, and banana pipe fish. Oh my god, Marcus, will you please shut up about your senti fish? I know, I know, they were your project proposal, and we agreed to go through with them, but Jesus, can you please not advertise to this man about? Did you say banana pipe fish? Yes, he did. I'm sorry, Mr. Lu, I can explain. What is it about this fish you wanted to know? It is possible that one of these specimens escaped from your company's aquarium sometime in September of last year. On March 3rd, a research group of ours managed to catch this organism. Can you identify it? Holy, Holy shit. shit. Unfortunately, yes. In about the fifth week of development, it appears that its genome is very unstable, and is somehow able to express the genes of other animals it eats. Is it possible that something could have gone wrong with the gene splicing in its early stages? I mean, it... it looks like it could possibly be. I mean, it's definitely yellow, so... But that looks nothing like a pipe fish, and ours were only about 20 centimeters long. Higgins. I caught Higgins pulling some shit during the first few weeks of initial gene splicing. Pearl. I thought you had Higgins fired after the stunt he pulled with the peanut jellyfish. You let him work on my team? He's one of our lead geneticists, Marcus. It's not like I could just get rid of him. Do you understand how difficult it is to splice more than a third of the genes from a goddamn fruit to a fish and still make it act like a fish? So, it seems that, without my knowledge, Pearl decided to temporarily hire Dr. Gregory Higgins to my research team. He has since been terminated from Aquagene for unprofessionalism. You see, Mr. Liu, Greg was a bit of a wild card in our department. He was smart, brilliant, even. But, he... He'd like to do his own little side projects, even sometimes made unauthorized modifications to our fish because he thought he could improve their marketability. I see. Were there any incidents leading up to our capture of this specimen? Unfortunately, yes. In about the fifth week of development, I caught Higgins tampering with a batch of the baby banana pipe fish. He was making them more carnivorous, more yellow. He said <laughs> if we could sneak a biting banana into the local grocery stores. Obviously, it was a gross breach of conduct, and not even within our main market of interest. So I confiscated them. However, Rayleigh wouldn't be in for proper disposal till next morning. So I left them locked in my office with a note on the door. If you were able to retrieve them, then how did Dash? When I came into work the next day, the fish were gone. I asked Rayleigh if he had gotten rid of them, and he said he hadn't even gone around to pick up stuff yet. So I went to Higgins. He said he'd disposed of them himself, even walked me to the takeaway unit to prove those things were there. 
Mr. Liu, is there anything else unusual you found in this fish's biology, apart from the fact that its genome was highly susceptible to change? Particularly, diet. Yes, actually. We've taken waste samples from this organism. It appears that it contains a multitude of gut flora usually found in people, along with various carcinogens. So, Higgins must have made more of those things after he took them back, put the originals in the disposal unit and then... And then flushed the rest of them down the goddamn toilet.